What's up everybody back here with another video today um, We got a new figure pickup. I got this a couple days ago. I uh, just want to kind of go over it um, We're looking at a Randy Savage, you know the deal if you collect figures, you know what this is, but I'll go ahead and break it down We got Macho Man Randy Savage. This is the NWO Ultimate Edition um, I missed out on that ringside exclusive years ago uh, So if you know me, you know, I'm a big NWO fan so I had to pick this figure up. Really like this figure. Um, we'll take a look at it here. <clears throat> we got the Macho Man, the Madness T-shirt. Uh, he wore these during his NWO days. Um, try to remember this correctly. Savage wasn't in the NWO right away. It was either Super Brawl. I want to say seven or eight. Uh, where he turned on Rowdy Piper and helped Hogan beat Piper at one of the Super Brawls. I can't remember what number. Um, and then shortly after that, he would reunite with Miss Elizabeth. Uh, and they would be in the black and the white NWO until the red and black was formed. Um, so cool stuff. Uh, let's take a look at it, though. Here's a good-looking picture of Savage. The Madness NWO shirt. White and black. You get the Madness bandana the shades you get a couple different uh head scans here as you usually do in ultimate edition along with hands uh and then you have the if you're around during this time and watching wrestling you know what this shirt is i still have one of these shirts believe it or not um but cool cool looking figure cool looking pieces um i had to grab this um i actually have got a couple of these uh my youngest daughter actually wanted one of these, so I got her one too. Um, but there's a little bit of the packaging of the front. Um, now let's take a look at what else we have here with the figure. You have the WWE Legends logo. We have a cool looking picture of Sa NWL Savage right here. Exactly what he looked like when he was in NWO. On this side you have the Ultimate Edition Macho Man Randy Savage. Um... And here's the back, as you can see. Uh, we got a picture of the figure with everything on. You get a real life picture of Macho Man, uh, WWE Legends, Macho Man Randy Savage. And then down here we get a little brief, uh, a little brief bio description. Six foot two, Sarasota, Florida, finisher, flying elbow drop career highlight wcw champion i guess for this figure maybe um it's funny to me because it, i always crack up when they say this dude's from sarasota florida because he was born in columbus ohio <laughs> but uh it's cool to have a gimmick on everything and then down here we got a brief description um let's just see what it says when nwo Ran rough shot over WCW in 96. Randy Savage was one of the few superstars who took the fight to the black and white. Ever cunning and never to be trusted, Macho Man turned his back on WCW, WCW joined the NWO, and aligned himself with his old pal Hollywood Hogan. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, man. G great looking figure, in my opinion. Um... I always pick up the NWO figures. It's a must for me. Um, I wish they come out with some other dudes. Uh, I like to see a Henning, Rick Rude two pack. It's just me. Um, and there's others. There's others. I just can't think of. There are so many people in the NWO. You know me. I'd love to see a Rodman uh, Elite. That's just me. Um, but I just wanted to drop this short video. Um, the figures have been slow for me. Everything's been on back order. I ordered this figure months ago, um, and I just got it uh, yesterday. So I just wanted to come on and show off this figure. Um, if you want better reviews, I would probably go check out. There's a website or a YouTube channel called My Damn Toys. Excellent dude. Uh, he does excellent reviews on everything wrestling figures. Um, and if you haven't yet, go check him out. Go sub him. He's probably gonna have this out of the package. And do a full blown breakdown uh, if it's on there. So any figures that you want to see, um, and he's up to date, uh, reliable, and no bullshit. Uh, so go check out my damn toys um, on YouTube. 
but yeah man we got all kinds of autographs coming um i'm behind i didn't get to show off the new mick foley signatures yet they'll be here we got a, a huge huge signing in ohio uh next weekend that we're going to share um got some hogan autographs coming some bret hart mail-ins all kinds of stuff coming in soon. I know it's been slow the last couple of weeks, but we'll get some more. Uh, I'm out of here, guys. Peace.